No wonder there's a record crime wave in this country. All right, Becky, I think you've made your point. I've hardly started. Um, I've come to take him back to Emmerdale. Well, thank goodness for that. I didn't think you'd want to wait and be brought home in a police car. Hmm. If I never see a police car or a policeman again, it will be too soon. Now, you both need to come down to the station next week. There you are, you see. Police harassment. That's what it is. We're just trying to establish the facts. The facts? I will tell you the facts. There are dangerous criminals roaming the countryside and you are wasting time bullying innocent pensioners. You're making it worse, Becky. Let's just go back with Jack while we can. What's going on? Ray? You OK? I think so. Should have a better idea in the morning. Um, kidnappers do that to you? Well, they were gone by the time I got there. Well, what happened? Ask her. Well, I didn't know what was going on, did I? There could have been a dangerous axe murderer coming through that door. Oh, come on. Yeah, I want you both back at this station next Thursday, 10.30am prompt. Oh. Have you got that? Yeah, they will be, officer. I'll make sure of that. I hope so. It's my day off. <laughs> Kids go... I'm surprised Charlie didn't wake you up. Then he start barking when they try to snatch the caravan. He's not a guard dog. He's a born coward he riding under a blanket. Hey, Robert wants to hear all about your adventures. Don't you go pestering Seth too much. He's been through a terrible ordeal. Hey, don't worry. I'm happy to talk lad about it. Uh, that's Robert's breakfast, Seth. I don't mind. I'll make another. Sausage would be nice while you're frying. How many of them were there? Was it a whole gang? Well, I didn't get a chance to count them, but we were obviously outnumbered. Uh, if a bit of bacon it would round it off perfect. Weren't you scared? No, I'd got my trusty shotgun by my side. But to listen to police, you'd think I was criminal. They kept giving me three degrees about having a load of shotgun in my caravan. Where's my sandwiches, Sarah? I'm afraid I haven't had time to make them yet. There's some ham on the side. You could do it yourself. You were hungry. I think I'll phone the police. Well, so. They don't need to see us until next week. Yeah, but you'll want to know what time we can collect your caravan. You'll be much more comfier in your own home. For this. What did they say? They need to hang on to the caravan for fingerprints and forensic testing. Oh, is that a good attempt? Could be some time by the sounds of it. So where are you and Betty going to live then, sir? Oh, maybe somebody will ever tempt the can lend us. You're joking. You freeze to death in this weather. Surely it's up to the police to find somewhere to put you up. It's their responsibility. Oh, well, that's as maybe, but Betty wouldn't accept their charity. Not where she feels about it. We'd rather sleep rough. There's no need for that. You can stay here, can't they, Jack? Yeah, of course. That's great. We won't be any trouble. It'll be no trouble at all. I'll get the spare bed made up. Dad? What? I think Charlie's been sick over there. 